Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bedroom stroke wardrobe tour. So I'm going to be taking you guys around my room and showing you some of my favourite bits from my wardrobe and some of my favourite furniture as well. Um, so don't judge me too harshly. I know I have a lot of bags and shoes but I have been collecting a lot of it. Collecting? <laughs> I'm a collector. I've been collecting a lot of it since I was 15 and I'm 26 now so it's been many many years in the making. hope if any of you are like maybe thinking about tweaking a few bits in your room hopefully it helps to inspire if you have any questions definitely feel free to comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get updates on when i post new videos it means so much hopefully you enjoy One thing you guys should definitely know is that when I had um, my room in mind I really wanted to make a space that had pretty much everything I would want in one place. So it's got lots of different sections that cover you know like my bedroom, my sort of workspace for work, my makeup area, a little bit of a living room, a bath space and of course my wardrobe and some of my vanity displays. So yeah I've got pretty much everything in one place and I'm going to take you guys around slowly. Um, each section. Hope you enjoy. So I'm just going to start here with the most boring which is like my little living room sofa area. So this is actually like a sofa bed um, with just a throw over it and some cushions just to make it a little bit more homely. So when I have people staying over this is probably where they would stay and when I have my friends over this is sort of where we'd hang out. On the walls you probably, um, a lot of people think this is actually wallpaper but no I managed to get that crisscross effect by using tape. So yeah, that's homemade, hand painted by myself with tape. Simple. Um, on the walls, you can see a few pieces from my wardrobe. I'm going to come back to that later. Now, if I take you guys down here, I do like this space a lot, but it does definitely get forgotten about. Um, this is probably one of the favourite pieces from here. This is kind of like a doorstop because it's super super heavy but i just love what it says this house is filled with family and friends i have so many candles um probably this is probably like my newest candle holder it says be dazzling i really really do love that and then there are these white stars that i got around christmas time which are just super cute and really go with the whole sort of winter wonderland theme that i had in mind when i put this room together of course there is some shoes and a few bags around because yeah, I have to store them pretty much anywhere I can find space. So then if I take you guys round here to my bedroom bar. So I actually got this bar on eBay. I can't remember who the vendor was, but I love having a bar in my room because I do drink quite a bit and I do socialise quite often. So it just means... <clears throat> It's always a lot of fun in my house. So here is um, a bottle of honey rum, which I got when I was in Fortune Ventura in December. So amazing. If you've never tried honey rum, definitely try and get it. It's actually local to the island. Bottle of Jack Daniels. I don't really drink Jack Daniels, but I do keep it around, especially because a lot of guys do like it. Um, and as I said, I have a lot of friends over. A bottle of Ciroc, not opened yet. I think I got that for Christmas. Something I do drink a lot of is tequila. I love a good shot of tequila with like salt and lime. Love doing tequila shots. And probably the one thing I drink the most of is my bottle of Baileys. I love having a glass of Baileys on the rocks. I probably have a glass probably every other night. So yeah, that's my bar. A lot of people do comment on the fact that I have a bar and obviously my bar stores behind. But it's just unique. It's something I always wanted to have and I love it. So next I'm going to show you guys my probably favourite part of the room which is my um, display shelves that have all my shoes and bags on it. Not all but most of my shoes and bags on it. I'm trying to get all of it in the frame which is really difficult to do but I guess that's a good problem to have. So I'm just going to take you guys through a few of my favourite pieces um, like these boots that I got 
from Macy's in New York when I was on holiday there last August. I think these are actually Chelsea and Zoe, which I really love. I got these about eight months ago and I've only worn them once since, which is a bit of a shame. I thought I'd be wearing them more often, but I will definitely get around to that. Um, these are both Carvelles. Um, I really love these pair though, just because to me, they just look like art. I always think fashion is art anyway, but these just pop. I love them. And then down here, these are from River Island, which I really, really like because black and gold is probably my favourite go-to look. But I do find with River Island shoes, they can be quite expensive for a high street brand. You know, whenever I look at the price, I'm always a bit like, oh, that's like twice what I was expecting it to be. But these are just super, super cute. And down here, I've got my Machino bag, which I love. I think I got it about four years ago. It's still in pretty good condition, but you can see a little bit of rust around the buckling area. But I do love that bag. I've got a lot of boots at the bottom. They do get forgotten about, I'll be honest. But yeah, I do have quite a few boots. Um, a few of my favourite nighttime evening bags. This one was actually custom made by a friend of mine. I've got a bit of a... Um, an African Nigerian inspired print around the clutch which I really love and this bag is from Bieber I don't know if you can see the buckle it's a Bieber bag and it's just got really nice I think there might be ostrich feathers don't judge me <laughs> but it always gets a lot of comments whenever I'm out people are like why do you have a rabbit <laughs> on your arm but I just think it's super super cute Got a Donna Karen handbag up there, which I probably haven't worn in about three years. And then right at the top, I have quite a few Timberlands. Um, I definitely had a phase many, many years ago where I was obsessed with Timberlands. I probably haven't worn these in about five years. So, yeah, I'm hoping like they come back. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring them back. So, yeah, that's just like my display and a few of my favourite pieces. Definitely not going to show you guys everything. Otherwise, we will be here forever. Um... Yeah, my Louboutins are here. I'll tell you guys a little secret. These are the most uncomfortable shoes I have ever owned. They are super sexy, super chic, but you can see from the bottom. I've only really ever worn it once. It should be a lot more scuffed up than that, but um, super uncomfortable. So they pretty much just gather dust there. I might do them as a bit of a giveaway. If anyone's interested in a pair of Louboutins, let me know. So then moving over here to my favorite space, I've got my Michael Kors handbags, which I got when I was in New York. Now, actually, these are really good purchases because Michael Kors is obviously an American brand. So buying it over there meant that I bought it for, I think I got both of them for $300 each. If I bought these bags in the UK, I'd have paid about 350 to 400 pounds. So the equivalent in of what I actually paid is about 200 to 215 pounds. So I saved quite a bit of money. And then I've got my Marciano Gladiator sandal heels, which I got for my birthday. Super comfortable. It's not a brand I'd ever really heard of before. But I found out while I was over in Miami that these are actually um, the more expensive version of Guess. So I guess they're the upgrade from Guess, and I really, really do like that brand. Then I've got my Louis Vuitton handbag. This is the Alma Verni in the colour Amarante, and I think this is the PM. I wanted the GM, but they've actually discontinued that, which I was really gutted about, but this is pretty much big enough anyway. Now, this bag actually cost me $3,100, so it's probably, yeah, it's definitely the most expensive item in my wardrobe but it was kind of a silly buy because if I bought this bag over here in the UK being a French brand and England being right next to France I would have paid about a thousand five hundred pounds so I've pretty much paid way above what I should have paid for it but I love the bag and it was a birthday present to myself so never mind so I'm going to take you guys over to this area now, which has a mix of pretty much everything. I've got some of my law textbooks from law school, and these are about £500 each. So a lot of money just sitting on my shelves. I probably should have sold them when I decided not to practice, but I do love having them as a reminder. I've got um, a Gucci case for my, um, that's for my Gucci watch, and then my Gucci sunglasses and just in there as well, a pair of Ray-Bans, these are Carvelas, I really love these, but I think 
the second time I wore them this sort of happened which I wasn't too happy about but I am going to try and get that fixed a pair of Kurt Geigers that I pretty much never wear another pair of Carvellas these are probably one of my favorite shoes these are from Next I think they might have been about 40 pounds and I just love the lace in the front and the patent black leather at the back super comfortable as well and then one of my current faves these simple black sandals from you guessed it Primark and these were like 14 quid and I just love these shoes they're super chic and go with pretty much everything love 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 so one thing about my wardrobe is you will find pieces from Gucci Louis Vuitton but you will definitely find Primark as well new look so yeah I've got a lot of pictures around this area um, a lot of them are actually out of date. I love this one though. This is me and my daddy from my call to bar. Um, these are people that probably shouldn't really be up here, but I look cute, so I'm not getting rid of the pictures. Some of my friends, some of them I haven't seen in a while. And then this card that my mum got me when she came to see my new place. And she also got me this plant, which I'm struggling to keep alive. And this diffuser, which smells super super gorgeous so now i'm going to take you guys over to my bed area where i where the magic happens actually <laughs> being single no magic happens here but my bed is super super comfortable it's just bigger than the double so i think it might be a queen and i've got my babies just here this little guy well big guy really is called money and his little friend is called Bowie. I got Bowie, I think, last week. And I love the fact that he's always telling me that he loves me. So, yeah, I love my bed. And if I just look out of the window, you guys can see Bay. So, the Lexus over there, that's my Lexus. I call her Lexi. I got her brand new last year. And she is Bay. Love her. Then, as you guys have probably already seen, I've got a five-door mirrored wardrobe i'm not going to take you guys through that today just because we will be here forever but trust me when i say i have a lot of clothes and even more shoes and bags tucked away there you're probably wondering what all that writing is but that's actually my business plan because i can't well i don't plan to work for somebody else forever so i put that up on the wall because in i've given myself like a limited time frame and I'm hoping that I stick to it but it's just a little reminder of what I'm working towards every day then if I take you guys over here to my little workstation you can see I've got a few more shoes below there and a few more over there but this desk is actually from Argos nice and wide keeping in the theme of the room also I'm sure you've noticed my white flooring which I actually installed myself and just a little reminder because I forgot to say it um these white shelves are actually from Ikea I've had them for over eight years and they've moved with me every time I've moved so they're very durable because they've lasted so long so yeah I work from home quite a lot so this is where I would work if I'm working from home I've got my printer I've got my iPad and normally my laptop would be here as well. But this is also where I paint my face. Um, I'm just going to take you guys quickly through that. So before, I've always been in love with um, Victorov perfume. And this is like another edition of the Victorov flower bomb. But recently I've gotten into the Marc Jacobs Decadence. And I love this scent. It's super strong so I tend to wear it as an evening perfume and then I wear a flower bomb in the daytime if I take you guys over here you can see my Urban Decay palette which is um the Naked palette is a neutrals palette which I love because it's a lot of soft browns golds and bronzes and of course a black so I got that when I was in Paris about three weeks ago haven't really used it too much because I rarely ever wear eyeshadow but definitely going to play around a bit more with that here's a few more of my eyeshadows quite a few from l'oreal um, a few bits from, from sephora and then my eyelashes are in here as well if i come over here i've got this home kit which i got these boxes from b and q and they're super cute and i love the fact that they are also um what's the word i've completely lost the word but yeah functional as well so they're not just like aesthetic 
um, but they are functional as well. So here I keep my foundations, there's a few missing because I left them at a friend's house. Here are all my brushes, my lipsticks and then my lip glosses and liners. Now I see people on YouTube and they have like trays and trays and boxes of makeup. I really don't, I have my favourite go-to pieces and that's about it. And here I have my beauty bag where I keep all my clarins, so my face toners, my exfoliators, my serum, you know, my moisturiser, everything's in there. I'm going to quickly show you guys some of my hair products. I do have quite a lot of hair products. This I actually got the other day. It's pretty expensive, but I love it. The Sebastian Dark Oil. I've got such crazy frizzy hair, so I do use a lot of oils, and that's my favourite at the moment. It smells oh, delicious lot of products yeah and here I've got like a little jewelry box I don't keep a lot in here I'll show you guys my main jewelry box over there but this has a few of my nail polishes I really don't have a lot because I hate doing my nails I'm weird that way then I'm going to take you guys over here to my main jewelry box um I'm a person that wears a lot of jewelry so it's quite bling blau this is like a really nice um cuff this is a statement necklace that i got in miami and this is um, very much one of those pieces that you can't wear every day if you've got like a premiere or something you're going to then that would probably be perfect but i really haven't worn it since i've bought it because it is quite dazzled and glam i've got a few of my favorite necklaces here i love wearing gold so a lot of my jewelry comes in gold these are my watches I used to have a bit of an obsession with Michael Kors, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can't get it in focus. Yeah, I can't really get it in focus, but a lot of my, there we are, a lot of my watches are Michael Kors. I really like the one on the right, rose gold, and I used to have a matching bracelet that went with that, but I've since lost that, which I was gutted about, but I love it so much, I'm going to have to go and buy the exact same one again. This is my... Gucci watch. I absolutely love this. It's a really good statement watch. People always ask me all the time about it. And another Michael Kors watch as well. I've got some of my favourite bracelets and bangles over here. My earrings, my rings, small earrings. And then a lot of my day-to-day -day necklaces. So yeah, quite a lot of jewellery. And then just a few more beauty products over here. Yeah, more shoes, but really not going to go into that. And then I've got my home cinema. So I've got a 50-inch TV right in front of my bed because I do watch a lot of TV in bed. I think it's from Argos. It really wasn't very expensive. I've got a sound bar just below it and some spotlights, which are great for filming. And I've got also these JBL speakers, which I do take um, with me on holiday when I'm going away because they're super loud, super portable. And again, they're Bluetooth controlled, so really easy to play my music on from my phone. So guys, let's put the chair back. I think I have pretty much shown you guys all around my room and I've shown you some of my favorite pieces. But I'm just going to do a quick recap again for you. Actually, one thing I forgot were these lighting installations that I got last week. I've only had them for a week, but I love them. I love the little feathers, the way like it just falls and hangs, and the way the light inside just glows all the way around. So I've actually got two pieces, and they are just super, super cute. I got those from Bean Keys, so if anybody's interested, yeah, I only got them a week ago, so they should still be available. But yeah, there's my home entertainment area as well as my work desk and a lot of my makeup and beauty products. There's just like a little display of shoes, bags. Actually, there's no bags there. There's shoes and a lot of pictures of loved ones, families and some old frenemies that I really need to get rid of. Then over here, my main sort of shoes and bag collection. My home bar with the bar stools bit more shoes and bags, my candles, my little living room area, my favourite bags and shoes up top, and then of course my bed. Oh, and of course my actual wardrobe, which I haven't really taken you guys through. I think I'll save that for another vlog. I think you guys have seen plenty. <laughs> if I show you any more, you guys will just be like, oh my god, this guy is crazy. 
Hi guys, so you guys have now seen the tour of my bedroom and my space. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment below and definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel for more beauty, dance, story time and fashion pieces. I love ya.